An effort to restore the Atlantic salmon population in New York's North Country. Wildlife leaders say it will not only help fish, but make the Saranac River better for people, too. Our Plattsburgh Bureau Chief Alec Lasham explains how. A pair of dam removals along the Saranac River are underway in hopes of returning Atlantic salmon to their natural spawning habitat. Our goal is to have fish be able to reach all the way up to Kent's Falls for the first time since the Revolutionary War. And this is a, a major step in that direction. U.S. Fish and Wildlife Biologist David Minkoff says the dam removal project has been years in the making and recently has been made possible due to funding from the Lake Champlain Basin Program, Patriot Hydro, and others. The weeks-long project will remove the final remnants of the Indian Falls and Friedenberg Dam along the Saranac River. Don Lee with Trout Unlimited, a group that partnered with U.S. Fish and Wildlife on the project, says the removals will potentially bring salmon back upstream to their long-lost home. We'd love to hit these fish up to Kent's Falls area and the Morrisville area. John Wiley, a senior hydropower biologist at U.S. Fish and Wildlife, says Atlantic salmon currently cannot make it past Imperial Dam, which is downstream. Any work on salmon restoration in this part of the river is kind of dependent on the first dam being passable. However, he and Minkoff say plans are in motion to create a fishway at Imperial Dam. In two years, that fishway will be finished. Salmon will be able to make it up to here, and we'd wanted to get this out before they came up here. He says the end result means a passable waterway for fish that have been cut off for hundreds of years. A little over 30 miles of main stem, Saranac River, and tributary habitat for spawning Atlantic salmon. In addition to restoring the waterway for salmon, Wiley says it will also benefit people who use the river for recreation. This is the Northern Forest Canoe Trail, and this right now is a portage or a dangerous run for folks coming down one of the largest, most significant canoe ways you know, in the country. Corey Miller, who is with the Lake Champlain Basin Program, says the pair of dams do not serve as a flood control measure and were purely used for hydropower. These dams that are not built for flood control, when you take them out, they actually have flood resilience benefits for communities downstream and upstream for the habitat. Um, they reconnect rivers to flood floodplains. There's less scour. There's a, there's a lot of benefits for flood resilience in, in most cases for taking dams out that aren't flood control dams. And while the fish restoration project has years to go before completion, Lee says he is looking forward to the day when salmon return upstream. This old codger is 79. I'll be 80 here next June. So I'm hoping I might live to see salmon come up in my backyard. In Plattsburgh, Alec Lasham, Channel 3 News.